Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the last day, day 33 of Separation Heels. And a big shout out to the amazing, fabulous, beautiful, dynamic, badass Bridget Rowe for this amazing Divine Feminine Confessions deck that we've used all through this series. So we've only got three cards left. And because it's day 33 and there's three cards, I thought it would be really fitting to use these cards for the last day. So thank you so much to all of you for watching this series. Thank you for the feedback, the comments, the donations, the amazing love and support. And I know that this series has helped you and it's helped me to understand it on a much deeper level. So let's do this then. And I am going to be doing in the new year an extra special series about the masculine. So stay tuned for that. So let's see what you need to know. I only want to please you. So this is also about what we spoke about yesterday. You know, yesterday we spoke about the energy of the love and that nobody else will do and that sometimes you only want to please them and that can make you vulnerable, you know, but vulnerability is not a weakness, it's a strength. You only want to please them, make them happy and sometimes when we're in separation, you know, it can be painful because we think we've done everything that we could to please them. Why? What's wrong? You know, why have you walked away from me when I've done everything to please you? And this is about you remembering that it's not you, it's them. You've done everything right. Don't take it personally. And one day in union, they will do everything to please you. So remember that you'll please each other because the love pleases you both. We've got if you would, if you, if you would just open up, and it feels like you know there's real pain there. So you know, if you would just open up, then I can too. It's painful. You know, sometimes you can't express how you feel in words. You can't express because it's so painful. And you think if you do, you would just open up, say I can't get the words out. And if they can't open up, it's because they can't find the words. They don't know how to express themselves in that moment. So you've been asked to relax and breathe and trust that they will open up in time. And that's another thing when you try and please them and you help them and be there for them and they still won't open up. You start taking things personally and thinking, is it something I'm doing wrong? Well, the angels are saying to you, there's nothing wrong. Everything is right. You've been moved into union. I want to take my time getting to know all about you, all about each other and all that we missed in separation. I love this because the last day it says there, I want to get to know all about you, everything that we missed in separation. So this is a big sign that separation is coming to an end for you. That, you know, you've worked through the series and you're feeling stronger, you're more understanding of what this journey is. So you understand that when separation ends and it will end, that you'll be able to get to know each other. That your masculine will open up to you. And that everything that you've been through in separation has made you stronger and got you where you are now. The message is, I wish I could be more open with you. See how the cards resonate? The angels always do this. They make sure the right cards come out at the right time. I wish I could be more open with you. I've just been abused so badly, it's hard for me to open up fully. And that's the masculine saying that to you. So this is a channel conversation, okay? Your masculine is saying to you, I only want to please you. And your masculine feels that they are pleasing you in this moment by giving you space because they need space to heal to become the best version of themselves and you're saying I only want to please you so if you need time and space that's okay you know I only want to do what's right for our love and that's right that doesn't mean you're weak it doesn't mean you're vulnerable it means you are strong it means you understand what this love is and you're saying to your masculine if you would just open up, then I can too. And your mask is saying, I wish I could. I wish I could be more open with you. I've been abused so badly, it's hard for me to open up fully. And the abuse has come from, you know, their childhood, maybe their family, core wounds from past lives, pain they've been through, maybe they've been bullied, they've gone through emotion. There's a lot they've gone through in their lives and they've been abused. And they've been hurt in relationships. They haven't been treated right. People have wanted things from them. All you want is their love. And it's hard for them to open up because they are learning what this is. What this love is. Who you are. Who they are. They're learning so much about this love. And in separation, it's a way you please each other. By giving each other the time, the space and the room. So then you can back up towards each other. 
and give each other back up thank you angels that you know you when you're in union and I speak about this in the video I did the other day on, you know, in the Twin Flame, everything you need to know playlist about what it is being in union. You're each other's back up. You know, you hold each other up. You've got each other's back. You are each other's rock. And you are anyway, spiritually. But when you come together into union, that's what you've got. And this is why you're working through all this pain. So the angels are saying to you, you know, when you both come together, and you're both healed and you both know that this is what you want because you know that now. But when you physically admit it to each other and you will, then you're able to open up and get to know all about each other. Everything that you missed in separation. So the angels are saying to you, separation is not the end. It's an opportunity to grow, to heal the abuse, to heal the wounds, to heal everything that's been caused to you to hurt you through the things you've gone through in the past, childhood, past life, society, what society thinks and says. And this is your time now to be you, to embrace your life fully, to remember your power and to remember that separation isn't the end, it's the beginning, the beginning of a pathway where you find your way to union. And if you've watched this series and you want something to get your teeth into now, I recommend you go and watch day one and find your way to union. Even if you've watched it again, you've watched it before, watch it again. Because now, after gaining 33 days of understanding of separation, you'll have an even greater understanding of how you find your way to union. And it's coming for you soon. That's why it's ended there. I love that. You know, all about each other. We'll learn all about each other when, we, when we've moved on from separation you know everything that we missed in separation and the angels say you haven't missed anything in separation because everything is in divine timing everything is as it's meant to be so you will open up to each other so on the last day you're both acknowledging and recognizing that you both want to be open with each other but these things take time so give them the time they need, their healing core wounds, have compassion, have empathy, trust in the love because the love will set you free. Have a great day sending you so much love. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.